Happy Halloween. Austin here checking in with Hope to Cope to remind you that you are a miracle and you have a purpose. So today's Halloween. And what better topic to discuss on Halloween than fear? What is it that you are most afraid of? What is it that you spend so much time thinking about, being anxious about, resisting, fighting, running from, that is continually pestering you, continually being a, a burden for you, this fear? What is it that you are most afraid of? Think about that for a second. Because we've got lots of fears. You know, there's the superficial fears, there's the deeper fears, and then there's the core fears. So one of the core fears that I've experienced in my life is that I am a bad person, that I don't belong, that I, I'm not accepted. And that belief in my life has pushed me to the fringes of society, of being with people, never feeling good enough, always worrying about what people think of me. And that is a fear that has driven me much of my life, led me into perfectionism that then <laughs> burnt out and led me into hopelessness and depression. Until eventually I started to understand that part of being human is the darkness and the light. Darkness is really nothing to be afraid of. Darkness is not the problem. Darkness is part of the solution. And the light, the contrast, the yin and the yang. And so in your life, what is that dark side that you were fighting so hard against? For me, am I a bad person? No. Bad is a judgment. That's dealing with shame. And so I've, as I've looked at myself and recognized areas in my life where I've been shaming myself because of thoughts and beliefs that I've had about how life should be or how I should act or who, how I should be accepted in the world. And if I didn't line up exactly how I thought it should be, I felt ashamed. I felt not good enough felt like I made a mistake, that I was a failure, and therefore I was a bad person and didn't belong. And so those ideas is what created the fear monster in my life. And so where is fear speaking to you? And on this, this topic, I want to remind you that there were only two fears that you were born with. When you were born, there's only two fears that we come with. One is the fear of loud noises, and the other is the fear of falling. Other than that, all other fears are learned based on our experiences and the thoughts about the events that we have. What do those events mean? We have thoughts about it, we create beliefs about it, and then those beliefs and those thinking patterns become habits. And then we are conditioned to think that way and it's part of our subconscious. And so we don't even consciously realize it. And yet these thoughts and these beliefs and these fears are running our lives. And so today on Halloween, I want you to think about what is it that you are most afraid of? Put it out on paper. And once you have it out, say, okay, what's so bad about this? What's the worst part about this fear? and then write down the next thing. And then say, what's the worst part of that? And write down the next thing. And what's the worst part of that? And write down the next thing. Until you come up with a blank. When you ask what's the worst part of that and you have a blank, there's your root core deep fear for this exercise. Once you have that fear, draw a picture of it. Draw a picture of what you see in that fear and just notice it. Put the detail into it as you see it in your head. When I did this exercise, it was me, alone, sad. And so that was the picture I drew. So once you have that picture, now take a deep breath. Let's shift into a different energy. That's the worst fear. Okay, now with that image, how can you turn that image into something funny? 
how can you you draw something add elements change things on the picture to make it funny so you're shifting the energy of the picture and so for me my picture was me sitting alone sad so what i did was i drew an elephant under me so now i'm sitting on an elephant and then I drew a money storm. So there's dollar bills and money flying all over in the wind. And one got stuck on my face and is like stuck in my mouth. And I have a little smile on my face. I turned the frown into a smile with this money dripping down my face. And now that seemed humorous. And so I'm like, okay, my worst fear was that I was not good enough, that I was a bad person, and I was, I was bound to be alone. I changed that into me riding on an elephant in a money storm with money hanging out of my mouth and that can't hurt me. And so that's what you do. So write down, draw the, the deepest fear and then switch it, turn it into something funny and then share it with someone you trust. Share it with someone you can confide in and say, hey, this was my worst fear. This is what I turned it into and that can't hurt me. And what you're doing in this exercise is you're just showing that the thoughts and images you have can be altered. You can change the meaning. You can change the energy associated with those ideas. And if you can change that, the fear loses its power over you. That fear monster that's, that's driving your life and controlling you all of a sudden has less power. And now you can say, okay, here's what I was most afraid of. Here's what I turned it into. That can't, that can't hurt me. And now what am I going to do about it? And so I'm here talking to you. I write books. I go out and I teach people. I'm a, I'm a counselor and I work with people. And so one of my worst fears was that, pe that I don't belong, that people don't like me and that I'm not a good person, that I'm a bad person. Well, I'm pushing myself out into the world. I'm pushing myself out to be seen. And I'm pushing myself into those areas where before I wouldn't put myself there because I was too terrified. But now I'm saying that no, people are people. You're like me. I'm like you. And there's nothing to be afraid of there. We have our quirks. We have our humorous parts. We have our, our light and our dark. And that's all of us. And so as we step forward into the dark, that's when we recognize the light within ourselves that starts to illumine. Because when we are basking in the light of everyone else, sometimes it's hard for us to see our own light. And it's easy for us to shame ourselves, to embarrass ourselves, to judge ourselves. But when we step into the darkness, we step into those things that we are most afraid of, like the dream that I had a few days ago that I shared. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. My horror dream. That one was stepping into the darkness and staying there until the light came within. And then the darkness and the fear lost its power. And so as we step into the darkness, that allows the light within us to illumine the darkness around us. And this light is within all of us. You have light within you. You are a miracle. You do have a purpose. And as you face your fears, as you step into that darkness, you will start to understand yourself better. There's a saying that says, once we embrace our darkness, that's when we can see our light. I believe that to be true. And I've experienced that and I'm experiencing that in my own life. And that's why I want to be here for you every day to help you see your light, to help you face your darkness and to embrace both, recognizing that you are a miracle, that you do have a purpose. So on this Halloween, thank you for spending this time with me today. I know this video is a little bit longer than usual, but I felt like this was something that I, I really wanted to share with you today. So today, practice this activity, face your fears, change the energy around it, and then step into the darkness. You're a miracle. You have a purpose. And remember, I'm here at Hope to Cope every day, checking in with a message of hope and to remind you that you are a miracle, that you have a purpose. So thank you for spending this time with me today. And I look forward to seeing you again soon.